So I'm back today for version number three of the Hoover Mod discussion. Uh, today I want to discuss specifically what do his industry cohorts do. I'm not talking about individuals like you and me. I'm talking about the people that actually produce kits and standalones. And I've gone out and I've dug up three of these guys. Uh, there's a place called Sonex, which is up in Wisconsin, and they do both airframes and the motors. There's a place down in northeastern Oklahoma, a little bit outside Tulsa, uh, engine kits primarily. And then the, there is the big, the main player called Revmaster that's out in California. Let us take a look real quick. I think I've got Great Plains is first. So this is Great Plains primary website, which is, of course, extremely dull. They do have some stuff. And if you dig through, you will find that they have a long block kit for any number of engine sizes and they list parts and machine work and stuff like that and if you dig into this thing right here you will see all the machine work has been completed such as crankshaft tapering blah 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 but if you read through all of this stuff you will see quite clearly that they do not hoover mod you can see right here they've got their rocker arm assemblies and if you dig into what they do you will see that these guys also do not put into their rocker assemblies, swivel feet. They don't put the swivel foot, they don't put the elephant foot, there are no swiveling adjusters in here. So this is the Sonics page. And the Sonics page has got an awful lot of really cool stuff because they do more than just engines. They literally produce these little airframes that you can buy or you can build as a kit. And then there's their engines like that right there. And what I want to look at is an engine kit. So this is the engine that links to videos, all kinds of really cool stuff. Very well done what they've got. There's the RV engine kit, but what I wanted to look at even more than that is if we come over here, they've got a PDF that you can download, which contains an even bigger picture of that. But let's take a look. Well, one of my peeves is H beam rods. You'll see that they're using I beam rods in their kit. They do if you dig through what they do, they also do not Hoover mod, and we're going to deal with the guy who ran the company. Uh, a few years back, the guy retired, I think, in 2018. So since it's 2022, that was about four years ago. You can find some sound bites where he doesn't specifically say things about the Hoover Mod, but you know that that's what he's talking about. And I'm going to include those here in just a little bit. The adjusters, bolt end rocker shafts, solid spaced. I mean, all the aircraft guys do that right there. They don't take a chance on having the stock clips break. They all have bolt ends. But these guys, believe it or not, if I come down here, yes, there you get into their rockers. These guys, as you can see, include in their kit this particular type of rocker. But they've got a photo here that includes the elephant foot adjusters, but I've looked into what they do, and this particular rocker is what they do. So these guys do include with their kit the swivel foots. There is something that they do have incorrect in here. If you come down to here, this is incorrect right here. What they're specifying as an incorrect positioning is in fact the correct positioning, but the slight offset rotates the valve a small amount each time it opens, which is a false statement. Okay, right now I'm going to put in those little sound bites that I was able to collect from the guy. And I know we have a lot of people out there that are guys that just don't believe the factory knows what the hell they're doing. And, you know, there are always guys that, you know, we see them on the lists all the time that have minimal experience but think they're an expert and they're going to ch you know the factory doesn't know anything and uh, believe me uh, i'm not allowed to get on the internet uh, i'm just not allowed because i'd probably be lighting people up too much now i guarantee you that he was talking about hoover move on to revmaster there's the revmaster main page and they've got a beautiful motor so they've got a whole bunch of really cool stuff right there but let's move on to an article that was written about their primary engine. I believe this article is from 20, I think it's from 2012, but it contains an awful lot of really cool information, all kinds of photos, but one thing you will find that they do not do is they do not hoover mod. They do not bore their case. They do not slice their lifters. And these guys also do not run swivel foot or elephant foot adjusters. And uh, they're quite adamant about these things. Now, what's cool about this is that uh, they see this guy right here, Joe Horvath, president and founder of Redmaster Aviation. I tried contacting all three of these places by email. Now, I mean, I'm not going to go crazy with this stuff. You know, if somebody wants to get back to me, they can get back to me. And believe it or not, Joe Horvath got back to me, and uh, he gave me a little bit about his thoughts on the Hoover mod. So this is the email that he sent me. 
and it was real quick. I mean, these guys are kind of busy. One, this dude's probably about 85 years old, so he's not going to spend too much time talking to me about it. But anyway, the HVX mods had to do with the oiling system. Yeah, kind of. Hot oil pressures were extremely low. That doesn't actually jive with what Hoover says. But anyway, standard oil pump had 26 millimeter gears. In 1968, Revmaster, got a little typo there, developed the 38 millimeter geared oil pump, which increased the oil flow and pressure to 40 to 60. 20 PSI idle. It took care of the low oil pressure problems at idle. Our engines are equipped with the 38 millimeter pump. And I've seen pictures of that pump. It is rather impressive. They don't Hoover mod. Great Plains doesn't Hoover mod. Sonics doesn't Hoover mod. As a matter of fact, none of the manufacturers that I've looked at, these are the big ones, but I looked at other smaller manufacturers. Nobody Hoover mods. Now, one of the things that I do is I always go out and I try and find out, you know, what's going on in the forums and whatnot. But, uh, there are a few flying VW forums. But in particular, there are several flying VW magazines. This happens to be one of, a, one of them. It's called Recreational Flyer. I think it's from 2014, making an eight-year-old issue. But there's a guy over here who is a Hoover Mod guy. So he started embracing the Hoover Mod. He started building his flying VWs with the Hoover Mod. And this goes about all the stuff that you do with the Hoover Mod. Some justifications, uh, various pieces here and there uh, where he kind of quotes what Hoover did, explains what he did and where he's a little bit of his background and whatnot. And what's really cool about this is that the guy started having problems and then he had more problems and then he had more and more and more problems. So he eventually decided to tear his motor apart and while he was at it he was like you know what I'm not going to groove my lifter. Last May here over here start reading there with the installation of a new set of lifters no grooves blah 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 See, the lifters regulated the quantity of oil delivered to the heads as they are designed to do. Now, the oil temperature on a 21 degree centigrade summer day reads 212 Fahrenheit. The pressure is steady at 45 PSI at 2900. Beautiful. 21 M slash P, which I believe is a map pressure in 105 mile an hour cruise. And he finishes with perhaps VW Wolfsburg had it right. After all, maybe the oil system was already in balance. Doing what it needed to do, lubricate and cool. So this guy who was a Hoover Mod convert has jumped back onto the side wherein he will not Hoover Mod. And in order to include just a general form, I've gone into the Volks zone. And I've never done a video that includes the Volks zone before. So here's a guy on the Volks zone. Come retirement, I will try to make it my remaining life's work to accumulate quantitative data Put an end to the seemingly infinite quantities of hearsay and monkey see monkey do in our scene and in particular this particular thread is dealing not just with the hoover mod but with several other items and uh, so you see there aren't i'm not the only one out here who is skeptical of hoover's claims and this guy is i've read some of his postings and he goes on and on and he is really really like wow that hoover guy He's really an expert in his own mind and only in his own mind. Now, I've also gone into other VW forums. This is one of the bigger forums, just talking VW engines, steps to scratch building a VW engine, and of course the Bob Hoover HVX engine mods. And this is on homebuiltaircraft.com, I think, yes. So they've got a nice forum there, lots of interesting stuff to read. But yeah, in conclusion, uh, yeah, there's nobody who officially in the aircraft, flying VW aircraft industry, they don't Hoover mod. No, no. Uh, not only do they not Hoover mod, the bulk of them don't even run swivel foot adjusters. There are reasons for that. Uh, the Revmaster guys understand that thoroughly. I was reading some of the stuff that they got in that article, and uh, they recognize that uh, there's a problem with those things, and there's no reason to have them in the system. And the article says that they specifically recognize this as far back as 1985. So Revmaster has not swivel-footed since 1985. So that's coming up on 40 years that they've known that they don't need to do that. So, you know, I don't really know what else to say about that. But, uh, yeah, you know, who reminds? There you go. One more thing. I mean, uh, you know, he's made mistakes computationally. He's uh, made claims about uh, VW engineers using his mods that are false and his own industry does not hoover mod now again i'm not saying that the hoover mods don't work but what you need to do to get them to work is not contained within the videos that i put out so far and maybe i'll do a fourth one where i say if you are going to hoover mod 
here's some things that you should think about in order to get it to do what you want it to do. But I think that's enough for this particular video. Thanks for watching, and I'll have more later.